The fate of former Chicago Alderman Ed Burke is now in the hands of a jury. In closing arguments, prosecutors painted a picture of corruption using Burke's own words. WGN's Mike Lowe has been covering this trial from the start and has more from the Dirksen Federal Building. Over the course of the six-week trial, dozens of supporters came to court to support Ed Burke. This afternoon, there was only one, his wife of more than 50 years, Anne. She sat behind him for nearly four hours as Judge Virginia Kendall read aloud more than 325 pages of instruction to the jurors, telling them, quote, these instructions are the law that you took an oath to follow, even if you disagree. She told the panel of nine women and three men some basic guidelines, asking them to be fair, impartial, and to use common sense. She also spent hours explaining complex subsections of federal statutes. She told them, quote, take the law, apply it to the facts, and decide if the government has proved the defendants guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. It was such a lengthy process because this was such a complicated case. The government outlined four alleged schemes in which prosecutors have charged Burke with abusing his public power for personal gain. There are two co-defendants also charged with various crimes. Burke's longtime aldermanic aide Peter Andrews and Portage Park businessman Charles Quay. Some of the evidence only applies to specific defendants and not to the others. And that was spelled out to the jury. During the trial, jurors heard more than three dozen witnesses and reviewed hundreds of pages of documents and viewed 100 secret recordings. If we're not uh, signed up, I'm not going to do any lifting for this guy. Burke is charged with 14 counts of racketeering, bribery, and extortion. The jury's first step was to elect a four-person. They'll have paper copies of the instructions and of the charges or the indictment inside of the jury room. They'll also be able to discuss the evidence and reach their own conclusions. Then they'll start going through the charges one by one. Judge Kendall told them, give the evidence whatever weight you decide it deserves. The jury will deliberate from nine to five every day until it reaches a verdict. For each count, the jury must be unanimous. Reporting at the Dirksen Federal Building, Mike Lowe, WGN News.